Talking to Sheikh Fazil yes. before coming on set, we were talking about the Kudus day. Right. Yes, then he's like, Rashid, I don't want to leave this podium without talking about Kudus, Kudus day. day. Very good. Then I said, Sheikh Fazil, let's not discuss it too. Mm -hmm. Let's discuss it with the whole Uganda. Very good. So what is Kudus day in this last 10 days? In Uganda? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> of course. And what is in the, what yes. is in the Kudus? Okay, what is special in Kudus uh, today? Special in Kudus Excellent. today. Excellent. Falls into the last. Uh, the, the last day. Ten, day, ten days. So, sure. So let's so, let's have a brief about. Uh, Kudus day actually is uh, <laughs> one of the great <laughs> questions always asked. Hmm. In 1979, Iran got its uh, mm. independence mm -hmm. from Western powers. Powers. Okay. <laughs> from Western powers. powers under a leader called Imam Khomeini. Mm -hmm. May Allah be pleased with him. You know, Iran was facing a lot of challenges. Actually, the entire world. Because mm. whenever we dissect about Islam, as my respected Sheikh said, mm. we, it means peace, actually. Okay. Yes, in sort of Hujarat verse number 10. <laughs> it means peace. Therefore, when Imam Khomeini came and led Iranian government to independence. Among the things he started, he said that uh, every last <coughs> Friday of Ramadan, every last Friday of Ramadan should be considered Kudus Day. Kudus Day, you know, Masjid. <coughs> so, Kudus. So, so I'm coming to the point, Chef. Mm -hmm. I'm coming to the point. Mm -hmm. Kudus is standing for the cause of Palestine. It simply means that. Why do we stand? The question is, why should we be standing? For uh, the cause, uh, uh, can uh, I finish? Sir? Sir, no, yeah. a moment. A moment. Kudus is a religious day. It's a religious function, not only religious, but is a, a humanitarian action. Oh, uh -huh. Kudus then you is, can continue. Yes, mm. Kudus is a humanitarian action. Mm -hmm. Let me give you an example. If I find my good neighbor, John, is an anti Muslim, mm -hmm. but I find him in, if I find him into problems. Mm. I feel concerned yes. because this is about humanity. Yes. That's the tradition of Imam Ali, whom, which we said in Ahjul Balaga. Anansu sunifani imma ahul laka fiddin au nadhirun laka fil khalik. Someone is your brother either in faith or in humanity. Okay. Actually, even Kofi Annan commented on that tradition mm. when he was, he was in UN assembly and okay. everyone applauded. Which kind of person can say such statements? This person is none besides Imam Ali. Alayhi salam. So, my point is, Kudus Day is the cause, or the philosophy behind it is about humanity. It's not only limited or standing for the people of Palestine, okay. our respected brothers, only brothers in Palestine, mm. but is for every person who should be standing by every oppressed person. Okay. Does Quran speak about it? That's my question. You Does Holy Quran speak about it? it? Mm -hmm. Holy Quran speaks about it in actually in uh, Quran chapter 16. Verse number 36, sort of another verse number 36. Wala kadiba athina fi kulli ummatin rasula. Ani ibudu waha wajitanibu atwa god. This statement, this verse is really, if we happen to contemplate on it, it has got a lot of meanings. Number one, the philosophy to why our saints as prophets, okay. you understand, mm -hmm. and the immediate successors, mm -hmm. one of the reasons is, is for them to command us to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And number two, and to resist any kind of injustice. Yeah. And to stand against the oppressors. When Imam Khomeini came, he found Pahlavisha. This is a person who took everything, every Iranian natural resource uh, uh, Sheikh. to the West. Sheikh. Therefore, when he came, Sheikh. he found Sheikh. Muslims being oppressed. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, I can see we are discussing more of Iran. Yeah. Can we come back to our context? To Kudus Day. To Kudus yes. Day. No. yes. Kudus, at least we've gotten the point. Okay, the point. Okay. Let's come back to the last 10 days. Okay, thank you, yes. brother. Thank you, brother. I, 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 meanwhile, we're mm. talking we're looking at the, 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 the Quran competition. Okay, sure. That is in... In this holy month. Yes. Of yes. Actually, regarding this, uh, <coughs> another action which should be done okay. mm, in these last uh, 10 days of Ramadan, I mean the last 15 days of Ramadan, number one, when Allah is summarizing, he summarizes some points in Quran chapter 3, verse mm -hmm. number 133 to 134, Surah Imran. Number one, he says, <laughs> 
hurry for Allah's forgiveness. Okay. Allah is commanding us to hurry for His uh, forgiveness. forgiveness. Number one, what should be done in order to be forgiven still? Okay. In these days, because these are days of uh, forgiveness and uh, Allah taking us from hell of fire to <coughs> paradise. Number one, He says, those people, in order to be forgiven, number one, you should be in a place or we should be doing this action. We should be spending in ease and difficulties. Oh. You understand my point? Yes. Therefore, yes, in yes, case yes. one of the great actions is to be done these days is to take care of others. Hmm, hmm, hmm. If you were blessed by Allah, you charity have now, can charity. Yes. It's mainly charity. <laughs> you spend in ease. What do I mean by ease? Your brother is going to get married. <coughs> Kindly, pay for him something. Hmm. Help him. Contribute. Contribute something. Yes. This is the Ibad actually here. It is to forgiveness. And yeah. I said whenever Allah forgives you, even in turn your ugly action is into good. We, we, increases sustenance and everything. We have for sisters you. and brothers who are in the hospital. Yeah. You go, you go and yes. help them out. Mm -hmm. You're going to help them out. Number okay. two, in another good action to be done these days, we should be in place to control our anger. Oh. Whenever you get annoyed, try to relax. Mm -hmm. By doing good action, get ablution. You understand? Contemplate, mm. do as call. Mm. Therefore, this point here, whenever you get annoyed, it nullifies your good actions. Mm. Therefore, as we fasting, we should also be in place to control. In case maybe your boss annoys you, mm. just feel free. You boss or a director of a given company. Don't like uh, take these people to be your servants. At the end of the day, these people have got families. You, we should be having that insanity, yeah, mm -hmm. that sense of humanity. Okay. Number two, you, my respected brother and sister, who is married, mm -hmm. don't take this sister of mine who got to married to you mm -hmm. to be a servant to you. True. This is not Islam. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, she's also a servant of Allah. She's a human. She, she's, she's a human being, mm -hmm. you understand? And even you, my brother, I, I mean, and even you, my sister, speak well to you. Husband, in yes. case you happen to do that, your fasting will be accepted. So it is two way. It's two way, okay, my brother. Allah. Then another point, <coughs> we should be always forgiving people in order to get Allah's forgiveness, Allah's mercy in these last ten so days. If I want to be forgiven, I must forgive. Uh, Imam Ali says this: Iraham Turaham, forgive to be forgiven. Forgive in order to be forgiven. My point, forgiveness. I always, because I don't want to speak much and. Uh, Brothers, don't pick any lesson. Hmm. Forgiveness, no, forgiveness. Yeah. Hmm. Forgiveness has got a lot of blessings. I'm always repeating this. Number one, it makes you to have that uh, peace of mind whenever you forgive someone. But whenever you stick to grudges, you understand? Hmm. Someone hmm. annoyed me, I shouldn't forgive him. I should keep the grudge for You me. even suffer from pressure. True. <laughs> for but no good reason. Shake. Yes, my Let brother. Let me 